Hello again. In this video, we're going to look at Israel moment number 31. Jews read the Bible blindfolded. Hello, this is Pastor Stephen Anderson from Faithful Word Baptist Church in Tempe, Arizona. And today I want to talk about another passage that uses the term elect, which is Romans 11, 7. The Bible reads, What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So people who try to say that all of Israel, whether they're saved or not, whether they believe or not, you know, they're all elect. This verse just proves that that's false, because it says right here, Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Well, if those two groups are the same thing, that wouldn't even make any sense. If Israel are the elect, then how could he say, well, Israel's blinded and the election's not blinded? It's because the election's not referring to Israel. It's the election according to grace. It's the election meaning the chosen people are those who believe on Jesus Christ and are saved by grace. Now, was there an election or choosing of the Jews in the Old Testament? Yes, there was. In the Old Testament, God did choose Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The Bible talks about them being beloved for the Father's sake. You know, the, that nation of Israel was God's chosen people in the Old Testament. Well, I'm just going to stop him here because he's not, he's not going to deal with Psalm 105. He can't do it. He can't deal with it. Now, it says that uh, in Psalm 105, O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. Okay? Chosen. He's saying they're chosen in the Old Testament. Okay? But it says in verse 8 that he hath remembered God. He hath remembered his covenant forever, the word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. It's an everlasting covenant. What, I don't understand what part of everlasting he doesn't get. Or any of you that are watching this that agree with him. What part of everlasting don't you understand? But in the New Testament, the Bible said the kingdom of God would be taken from them and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruit thereof. They're no longer God's chosen people. According to Romans 11, 7, they're not the election. They've been blinded. Now, what does it mean to be blinded? Well, listen to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, because uh, the Apostle Paul makes some similar statements over here in verse 13. And not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished, but their minds were blinded. Talking about the children of Israel. It says, For until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Christ. But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. This is saying that even when the Israelites today read the Old Testament, they have a veil over that. They're blinded. Basically, what the Bible's saying is that they're reading the Old Testament blindfolded. Now, let me ask you this. If, according to the Bible, the Jews today that are not saved, that don't believe in Jesus... If they're reading the Old Testament blindfolded, why would we go to them for help on interpreting the Old Testament? I mean, Christians today think... We don't. He's setting up another straw man argument here. You're not supposed to go to them for help in reading the Old Testament. Then he's going to go into Christians think, well, who cares what Christians think that are ignorant because they don't read their own Bible. It doesn't matter. Oh, well, let's, let's see what the Jews think about this Old Testament passage. You know, let's get their opinion on, on what this passage means. Hold on. Why would you have someone who is blindfolded lead you? I think Jesus talked about the fact that you're both going to fall in the ditch when the blind lead the blind. And so we should never go to the Jews to try to get interpretations of God's word because the Bible's clear. They're blinded. They are reading the Bible blindfolded. They're not going to interpret it for you correctly. So again, this shows that the election, the elect, in the New Testament is referring to believers, not referring to unbelieving Israel. Okay, <clears throat> nothing new here. He's still talking about the elect, and yet yeah, today the body of Christ is elect, and the nation of Israel is elect. However, as we talked about in previous videos, today God is dealing with 
uh, man on an individual salvation basis. So it doesn't matter. Um, you know, he's looking out for the Jews because he has a plan for that nation. However, uh, since the time of Christ, Jews and in, in, in the Old Testament, but um, you know, Jews that have not received the Lord Jesus Christ as their Savior have died and gone to hell like any other person and will continue on and on and so forth and so on in that way. We're talking about individual salvation here. We're not talking about national election. When you get saved as a person, you go into the body of Christ. However, there's going to be a group of people at some point in the future who make it all the way through that 70th week period of Daniel and get to the end that are Jews by nature that see the Lord Jesus Christ coming back in the clouds and they will believe on him at that time. It says that in the Bible. Been over that in other videos. Not going to rehash it, as I've said before, because um, these are just getting redundant. So I'm not going to go over uh, scripture after scripture like I've done in past videos um, over the same topic that he keeps uh, coming at in a different way. So I think that's all for this video, guys. Uh, see you in the next one. Have a good night.